let's reform financial reporting bit by bit so that it becomes easier to understand. Confidence is everything. Unless we actually can deliver that, we will deliver nothing. We have to make sure that the quality of audit is at a top level. We cannot be satisfied with some average quality. We want to put the auditor in a position to be completely independent, to be able to exercise full professional scepticism. We've just been through an era in Europe where we have had run on the bank, people lining the streets, not being able to access their savings and their earnings. It's only understandable that they feel rather nervous and that confidence needs to be rebuilt today. Concentrating on making sure that we build up the transparency, we build on the professionalism, and we ensure that there is greater confidence on the systems that we have in place to make sure that uh, ultimately citizens, shareholders, businesses themselves, lending institutions, shareholders, everybody across the board has a much greater level of confidence in what is put before them. Today was really about understanding the need for change in financial reporting, that whilst Europe has taken a leadership position in the changing world of audit, um, actually it's the financial reporting that actually underpins audit and is necessary for audit to be worthwhile that does need re-looking at. It's become too complex, it's become over lengthy and frankly it's going out of the boardroom because people don't understand it anymore. And the takeaway for me was that people are beginning to understand that issue uh, and uh, have some enthusiasm for addressing it. Financial reporting must become meaningful information for all investors in order to convey resources to those companies that are best suited to bring value creation and value added to an economy that is lagging behind other regions in the world and that needs desperately growth. We would like to bring the quality of audit to the best possible standard because of the societal role that the auditor plays. The auditor works for the company or has a contract with the audited company but we see that investors um, use the audit report as a tool to guide their invest in the investment decisions so we need to guide this quality this uh, regulation must open up the internal market and bring basically the, the the market structure at european level in order to bring in the right incentives in a way to deliver the best products for european citizens this is a dossier that needs time in order to ensure that we do it right, but we don't have a limitless, endless period of time. And from my perspective and the Parliament's perspective, this needs to be wrapped up before we go into the next set of European elections.